Rogers. And I'm Renee Skinner. A federal judge heard arguments today on whether or not to outlaw BRPD's controversial strip search policy. That's right. A preliminary injunction was filed in April, which would stop the existing strip search policy. We have NBC Local 33 investigative reporter John Rapolo live in studio. John? Yeah, you know, good afternoon. BRPD Police Chief Thomas Morris defended the department's strip search policy under questioning in court this morning. Several federal lawsuits have been filed by people claiming that they've been illegally strip searched by PR, uh, BRPD officers over the last few years, saying that it's unconstitutional. Attorney Thomas Frampton said this morning the exist existing policy violates the Fourth Amendment. He says BRPD has forced non-arrestees to be stripped naked and searched in public at the so-called uh, Brave Cave as well. Frampton argued the policy has not been reviewed or looked at by an attorney. Current BRPD policy allows officers to strip search someone if they have a reasonable suspicion of a crime. We see BRPD leadership again and again and again, showing that they're going to continue to subject people to sexually humiliating strip searches unconstitutionally until a federal judge or the U.S. Department of Justice stops them. BRPD Police Chief Thomas Morris said he's made changes to the search policy that requires searches to be documented now on paper. He doesn't believe the existing policy to be unconstitutional, and he says he's making more changes. Especially with, you know, who does the searching and the, per the person that you're searching, do they identify as a male, a female, who would like, they like to have them searched by. So same things like that are going to be added to our policy for sure. And Judge Shelley Dick said uh, in federal court this morning she plans on making a ruling on that preliminary injunction, quote unquote, shortly. Now leaving court today, Chief Morris and the city parish attorney, well, they refused any comment. We're live in the studio, John Rapolo, NBC, Local 33 News. Uh